A rare annular solar eclipse could be seen in, on Sunday in 10 counties and cities. That's a phenomenon when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, covering the sun's center but leaving its outer rim visible, forming an orange ring or annulus around the darkened moon. The celestial spectacle was first seen sometime after 2 p.m. in the outlying islands of Jinmen and then moved eastward toward Taiwan. The Taipei Astronomical Museum says the next time to observe an eclipse covering such a large percentage of the sun from Taiwan is 195 years from now. Taidung denizens were waiting impatiently to see the annular solar eclipse. But just as it appeared, a dark cloud covered the sky and people could not help wailing in disappointment. But luckily, the cloud coverage was not that dense and people could still see the eclipse. Children were especially excited. The opening scene of the astronomical spectacle began at 2.44pm in the outlying archipelago of Jinmen, before moving east to Taiwan in a curving direction where it could first be seen at the Tropic of Cancer in Jiayi in Yunlin. Altogether, the spectacle could be seen in 10 cities and counties, including Penghu, Tainan, Kaohsiung, Nantou County and Hualien. Basically, the sun is covered by the moon, and this time the moon is a little bit farther away from us, so the sun won't be completely obscured. You'll still be able to see a golden ring on the circumference of the moon. The golden ring is the main attraction this time. Even though Taipei residents could only see a partial eclipse, it didn't stop over 10,000 people flocking to the Taipei Astronomical Museum to behold the site. <laughs> It was quite fortunate to see a solar eclipse today. I didn't go to Jiayi or Yunling to see the annular eclipse. I can see a partial eclipse here. The next time Taiwan will see a solar eclipse will be in 2215, which is 195 years from now. It won't be until then that people will see an annular solar eclipse pass through Taiwan. The best viewing point for the solar eclipse on Sunday was in Jiayi. A branch of the Air Force based in Jiayi dispatched five F-16 fighter jets, which flew in a triangular formation to welcome the celestial event, along with all the astronomy fans.